Episode 122 of Cal Cagno Radio begins, I'm sorry, continues right now. Episode 122 of Cal Cagno Radio continues right now. This part will be on the uh, video that people heard, can hear me screwing up. Um, a minute ago, Joe lifted up his shirt and showed everybody his nice um, pink knockers nipples. <laughs> I'm a solid B. I'm yeah. a solid B. He's a solid B cup. Yeah, for sure. He, you're, you're, I would say A plus. You're probably like an A plus. Oh, well, um, maybe B. Um, anyways, it's funny that you did that just now because. So let me lay out something for you. This has been bothering me for the last week. So three months ago, if I had called you on the telephone and not texted you, would you would not assume someone had died like that? If I texted you, you'd be like, cool. But then when I called you, wouldn't you be like, what are you calling me for? Yeah, I, I heard that in 2020, someone came out with a thing of like, what's um, what do they call it? Like manners? Like, uh I can't think of the word. It it deals with manners, though. Are you going like, to jump what I'm about to say? Oh, maybe. Go okay. ahead and finish. Let me finish. I have a whole setup here. But so, yes, I, I would have thought that. Like, why, okay. why are you in trouble? trouble? Now, if someone were to FaceTime me, I would say, what in the hell are you doing? Like, we don't need to see each other. But right. I have, like, six people in my life right now who have jumped from, they were just text people. Now they're FaceTiming me. Yeah. Without a without a text to say, hey, would you like to FaceTime? Does that seem intrusive, or am I just being really weird? No, I I read a thing. There we go. Says, no, that says in in 2020, those are those are like um, uh, those are going against like social norms. Like it's now considered rude. It's now in 2020 considered rude to call someone on the phone without first texting them and saying, is it okay if I call you on the phone? If you just cold call somebody, uh, that's considered rude. And there's like all these different things. But this was all like pre-virus. So now with with quarantine going on, me personally, like I'm I'm like kind of like an introvert, homebody type guy anyway. I love doing this. Um, I do miss some interaction with people, but I'm not fiending like some people. And some people, I think, like uh, the ones you talk about that are suddenly like jumping on, like, I got to see faces. I got to connect like those social butterflies. They need that. Like they're they're withering away to nothing. Whereas like I could just sit inside all day and it, it's not bothering me. Yeah, I'm the same way. And everybody always says, but you're an extrovert. It's like, no, no, no. I'm an outgoing introvert. Like I am absolutely an introvert who is outgoing when he needs to be. But for the most part, would rather just sit at home and do nothing like this is not driving me crazy at all. Right. Like, like I'm, I. I hate mankind, and so <laughs> this is fine with me. Like, I could do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. If, um, if you take away the, like, possibility of getting sick and dying if you go to the grocery store, other than that, this is this really works with my lifestyle. Like, right. I'm, really, I'm really digging this. Yeah, I saw something the other day, and someone said, you know what I miss most? Having plans that I don't want to go to and being able to cancel them. And yeah. Just not feeling it. Yeah, I mean, I will say I miss going to do stuff or the freedom to do stuff, but I don't feel like – like I have a friend of mine who legitimately I think may be going crazy from this. Like I think that that he just isn't dealing well with this. And every time I talk to him, he's like the Christian girl who doesn't want to have sex before marriage but finds a way to get everything done. You know what I mean? He was like, but I didn't have sex. You know, right. this guy though, like – so the other day he texts me and he's like, hey, I got an idea. He texts a whole bunch of us. Why don't we all get together some night on our bikes? And so he's, and he's using buzzwords. We're going to do social distancing and we'll ride to the first house. And then there'll be beers set out on the front porch by someone. Then we'll ride to the second one, social distancing. He keeps putting it in the text. And then we'll drink a beer there. And then we'll ride. So he's like, we'll end up riding like 20 miles and having like seven beers. Now, I don't know about your tolerance level. Well, yours is a lot better than mine. If I had seven beers and I was just sitting here, I would be passed out. Now you want me to ride a bike? Uh, in seven <laughs> beers? Like, with traffic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. And with like nine other dudes who've also had seven beers. Right. Like, no. And we got to keep social. It look like an episode of Joe Exotic. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he like wants to do this and you can tell everyone's like trying to be cool about it where they're like, you know, no one wants to write back like, dude, is someone going to wipe down all the bottles? 
what if we have to pee? Like, this doesn't sound like really what the governor governor wants us to do. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this kind of sounds like you might be skirting it, right? Like, right, right, right. I, I get the gist that, yeah, like, you could take a walk with your, you know, with your neighbor and keep social distancing. distancing. I just don't know nine dudes on, <laughs> on bikes going house to house with beer. Like, you know, again, he's going crazy because he's such a social butterfly. But it's funny how, like, two people were like, sorry, can't make it tonight. He clearly wasn't talking about tonight. He was just saying, <laughs> in theory. I never roll back because I'm too chicken shit. Like, I was just like, I don't want to sound like the doomsday prepper. Although, let's be clear. Can we all just let them off the hook for a little bit? All these people five years ago was like, there's going to be a global pandemic and I'm going to be ready. And we were like, losers. What? What a freaking pathetic loser. And now you guys like, like, I have enough toilet paper for four years. (laughs) And we're like four years of horrible dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Um, yeah. But you know how there's people like, right. Like I said, like, so he's just, he's trying to like dance around it a little bit. And you're like, dude, this is just not working. I know the crazy thing though, like I will be out cause of work. And so like, whether I'm driving to or from work, cause I, I, I still have to go to work. And while I'm out, there are more people out. I live in Royal Oak. There are more people out in Royal Oak than a 1980s nice summer day. Really? The the sidewalks are, I don't want to say packed, but the sidewalks, there's tons of people walking, tons of people riding bikes. I went to the, I drove by uh, the park over off 13 Mile, Star JC Park. There's people social distancing, but they're playing disc golf. (laughs) Like, so they're out playing disc golf. There's... There's this big like workout setup thing at that park. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's like people working out. Yeah, but here's the thing. When you're doing your chin-ups, don't you have to keep in mind that the person before you that did the chin-ups could have had this virus? Like this is probably I, not what they signed up like they didn't want well, us to want. What I'm thinking is like those people, yes, you do go thinking that and you go and you wipe down the bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I, I, I am I, there's nothing else you could be doing other than doing chin-ups at Star JC Park. No, those are the people with 12 packs. And the 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 woman who I saw, you know, has like a short she blonde hair that looks like yours, right? Yeah. Okay. Her hair is cut like yours. Uh she looks like she was created in a lab, as was her husband or probably boyfriend, uh, you know, who probably does social media for a startup tech. Yeah, exactly. And, and those two are just out there, and all they do is eat their, you know, their tropical smoothie shakes and work out all day long. So, like, those are the ones that are there, you know, working out, and, and people are out walking. I mean, it's – it's. I came home yesterday and told Mia. I was just like, man, there are more people out there than I've seen in years, like, on a beautiful summer day. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, when we, what I find is funny is, like, you know how people use that term, avoiding you like the plague? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like yeah. today we were out and walking the dogs. Someone was at least a hundred yards from us and like crossed the street. Right. Because they're like, oh crap, this is about to go down. Social distancing. And you're like, dude, you could, we can all just sort of work together. Like we don't have, you don't have to literally be on the other side of the street. Here's something though I want to point out. Doing social distancing is great, but doing WrestleMania was the dumbest idea I have ever seen. We actually downloaded the app for free for one month just to give us something to watch other than arguing about movies. You clearly watched WrestleMania last night. Yes. Was it not truly bizarre without the audience? It's absolutely bizarre. It's so bizarre that we enjoy watching and we're going to watch night two tonight. Because WrestleMania is a two-night thing uh, this year. So we watched last night. We're going to watch again. The girls are already – Mia's already asked me at 11 o'clock this morning, Dad, when does you know when does it come on? Start. Uh, I believe 7 o'clock. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, I mean, we watched it, but we've been watching. So, like, we've watched, like, Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDowns. Um, we started watching the AEW. Uh, so we started doing that. So what's fun – and I know I'm getting a little bit away from WrestleMania. WrestleMania is weird. Which was the topic. Right, it is. But let me add this to it. AEW, right. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what I should start doing is like just frantically waving my hands. 
to get back on. No, this this I, does I, this does apply. Really do that. Yeah. No, this does apply. The You're difference is the segment. <laughs> the difference is WWE. It's very bizarre. There's no people there. There's the two guys wrestling and the the ref and what, the commentators who are four and, feet from them. Right, and the commentators. What's cool about AEW is the AEW, they have, like, there's the same thing. There's no people in the stands. The two wrestlers and, you know, however many wrestlers are in there, the ref and the announcers. But here's what the AEW does that we as a family love. The wrestlers who aren't wrestling come and sit at, like, on, like, you know how there's, like, the outside where people get, like, slammed and then there's, like, the guardrail and then the fans? The other wrestlers that are would normally be backstage, they come and sit out there and heckle whoever's in the in the stand or, or who's see, in the match. That would be amazing, only it's because brilliant. Yeah, see, that's what they should have done. Because last night when I watched, we watched the first tag team with the two, with the four girls that did it. The yep. one girl was crying tears that are green because she's got green eyeshadow on or whatever. Right. Um, we watched it. It was so odd because not only was there no crowd for them to hype up, and they tried at one point. One of the girls was like trying to get like, damn, damn, damn. right, yeah. right. There's no one there, and also, Zero. yeah. And there's that. There's that problem. But also add to the fact that they mic'd everyone up or something. So they were like, "You like this? Yeah, I do." Well, you're gonna get your ass kicked. No, I won't. And you're like, "Oh gosh!" Like I don't like they well, were here. Let, let me. These are great athletes. They're just not great actors. Right. And here's the difference is what WWE, what you're picking up is just the normal ring mics. So if you watch, if you watched a normal uh, WrestleMania, you would kind of pick up those, them yelling at each other. Again, what the AEW does, they actually have mics. So you're listening to the dudes, like I said, outside the ring yelling and heckling and the guys like you hear it a ton better you can hear all the little jokes it's fantastic it, well, yeah, it, the I, AEW has it going on but just because i okay i am not by any means like a huge wrestling fan you are did how okay 10 being the greatest wrestlemania you ever saw we're talking silverdome hulk hogan andre the giant is a 10 what would you say last night was an incomplete like, yeah well, I mean, it it was it was a it was a three. It you know it was a three. It was a four. Now, mind you, last night because they made it like two days. Like last night's matches, like weren't the good ones. Like okay. the when good Undertaker matches fought, would be tonight. Um, fought that guy in the boneyard, which yeah. may have been Joe AJ Styles. Play. But here's the thing that I didn't see that one. We that, did. I I didn't get to see that. So actually, when we're done with this recording, uh, me and the girls are gonna watch that. Okay, so, so when, don't tell me who won. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I'm not really even sure because there were so many twists and turns. That's all I have to say. Uh, no, we watched it. Uh, we watched that last night, and Grant actually said to me, like, now, he goes, now this is better because it was just so you, I mean, I'll just, I'm not giving anything away. They fought in the dark, at, like, outside. There was no Wasn't ring. Wasn't it like a pre-recorded, yeah, it like, put together like a, like a movie? It looked like a movie. And so, yeah, and so there, there was many camera angles and stuff. It still had that WWE feel because sure. it wasn't like, you know, James Cameron didn't direct it. But like, sure. but it but it was definitely much better than the girls t- in the tag team because it was so weird. Anything we watched that would they people were in the uh, complex for next or what, what is it? What is the name of that? The yeah. The, uh, yeah. NXT. NXT. Yeah. Um, anyone we watched in there, it was so weird because like the commentator was like, oh, you know, he's throwing them over the side. Blah, blah. And it's like they're literally six feet away. Like these guys can hear them. Like, normally yeah. the commentators you can't hear when you're in the ring. So that was a little weird. But it was better watching, like you said, the one that was set up, you know, outside. But yeah, yeah dude, trust me. At this point, we're trying anything to, you know, we played Monopoly again, even though you said not to. And this time it's horribly long. We're in day two. We had to stop last night because it was going so long. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to do anything just to say, say, stay sane. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. I've talked to three people this week alone who thought they were alone on something. Everyone who's married or dating someone 
is so irritated with the person that they're dating or married to. You're yeah. not the only person who's fighting. Just so you know, Wendy and I had to sit down maybe day five and be like, listen, everything I do is wrong. Everything you do is wrong. Let's just agree on that and we'll go forward because we don't need to point that out the whole time or we're going to go crazy. Yeah. And the second thing is every married couple or everyone who lives with somebody, like I said, people are always awake. Like, this is crazy. I can't binge watch anything I want to watch on TV because my children stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning every night. Yeah, but they watch and Boys to Men. Boys <laughs> in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. I so can't, boys doesn't in the doesn't matter. No, no, no. But I'm saying Once like, you watch that, it doesn't matter what you're watching. Uh, Grant should be able to watch whatever you're watching. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? And this is, I'm going to give one. Um, I don't normally do movie critiques. But there's a movie. It's called Five and a Half Feet. Have you seen this one? Have your daughters had you watched this one yet? No. Um, basically, it's very timely, and it's it stars two people, including one of the fat kids from um, from the who, who are those twins that were on TV? Olsen Sweet twins. Life. No, Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. One of okay. them. Okay. Is okay. It, super skinny now. These kids have cystic fibrosis and. They can't get any closer than six feet or they'll kill each other. Okay. So it's like Romeo and Juliet's told the new way. We watched this movie last night after we watched some WrestleMania. My children and I were laughing so hard at parts of this movie that were supposed to be poignant that that was one of my best memories I've had in a long time. Oh, because, really? Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. It is so horribly bad. Like, it's like watching Twilight where you watch and you're like, this is so horrible. Yeah. So I would suggest, if I'm you, find the movie. It's on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu or Showtime or any of the other freaking 900 ones that you have that are free right now. Dude, right. for the record, there is this hissing that I hear. Oh, there it goes. Now it's back. Wait, has something to do, is it, does it have to do with how close you're sitting in the mic? No. No. This hissing goes in and out. Now it's dead silent. I have never had so much relief in my life. Like, I'm like, oh. There was this yeah. thing the whole time. I'm going to have to take it out when we, when we post it. I have to take it out after the fact. But, gosh, it's so nice to hear you without it. There it goes. It's back. It's there it back. goes. Do you I, hear it? I have not moved. Yeah. I haven't moved. you hear moved. the hiss? Yeah, I do. Did you hear it go off? Yeah. I think it's on your end because, I, I, well, I, you know what? I'm, I'm not exactly for sure whose end it's on. But, like, for it's you. My computer's fan. That's the only thing I thought of. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. And it's picking it up. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so we watched this. We watched that movie last night. But yeah, just know that you are not alone in this. Anybody out there that the the thought of being alone sounds so good sometimes. Now, I'm going to ask you a serious question because I don't know how this works. As somebody who has a blended family like you do, your go or your girls are at one house sometimes, your house sometimes. Do you still just trade off? How does that work during quarantine? Yeah, uh, when. My girls go to their mom's house. She just comes and picks them up. They go over there. And, you know, same thing. On my days, I go pick them up, and, and they're over here with me. So it's, you know, there's a little bit of coordination. Like, you know, I ask my ex, you know, like, how serious are you taking this? You know, what are you doing? And they're basically taking pretty much the same precautions that we are. Um, but, I mean, in, in my house, I really don't see my wife and stepdaughter, like, my wife, she has, she's basically because of my job and because I'm out, she has me like, she not has me quarantined. She quarantines herself. Right. So like in, in our den, she has that set up to be like her work from home space. And she's basically in there or in my stepdaughter's room. And that's it. Like they, we really don't interact uh, all that much. And then when my girl, so when my girls aren't here, I'm like by myself, like how you're saying you don't get that alone time. I get almost too much. Oh, and, then when my, okay. and then when my girls come, uh, they, all their stuff is down here in the basement. And then Molly and Evelyn are upstairs. So there's kind of a separation there. And, but like my girls, they're like on reading binges. So like Ella will nerds. disappear. Yeah. That's why I'm constantly telling them nerds. Uh, <laughs> Ella will disappear into our room for six hours at a time, just reading. Mia's trying to read through the uh, 
trying to read through the the Hunger Games. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, book series. So she'll disappear too. So even though I have like a a house full of people, I'm still getting like a ton of alone time <laughs> because my kids are bookworms, and then Molly and uh, and Evelyn are just like uh, you know quarantined off from me. No, that makes sense. No, I was wondering about that. And actually, Wendy and I were speaking about it the other day, and she was like, you should ask him on the podcast, but maybe don't ask him on the podcast because I don't know if he wants to talk about it. So we could have cut that part out if you really didn't want to want to talk about it. No, that's fine with me. Okay, so anyways, what are you gonna, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get done? Kiss the ground? When we're finally like released and we start rubbing our eyes like we've never seen the sun before, what's the first thing you're going to go do or eat or whatever? you got to... Call it out now. Uh, a, bi- a, a big barbecue, like a you know smoke smoke a bunch of meat. I, a, a buddy of mine the other day, you know, asked me the same thing. I said, when I'm done, I'm gonna smoke beef ribs. Yeah. Like I just want to have like a nice party, you know, and and have like just really good food and be able to chit chat with people, a nice bonfire, you know, whatever. Yeah. The thing that I miss honestly is just the fact of like Grant's friends, friends parents. Yeah, I miss most of Grant's friends' parents. Although we did do a um, meet up the other night on Zoom. Have sure you, you did. Sure we you did, dude. I didn't organize it, but I got invited. So it was like a happy hour thing on on Zoom. You know what Zoom is? Do you guys use? Yes, this? yes, okay. yes. I, I haven't used it. I haven't gotten invited to anything. <laughs> dude, we already do this. We're the only people that we even you you and I are the only people that know each other. Really, I mean, yeah, we, I do this. This is our, and, this is our hangout. And, yeah, and and this is this is it. Uh, I have a Bible study that on Thursday nights they've been meeting by zoom and I haven't been able to make it. So other than, other than my Bible study, I have not gotten invited to any zoom meetings. Okay. So now imagine for a second, this zoom meeting is like what we're doing right now. It's almost exactly what we're doing with Skype, but there's instead like I'm up in one of the corners, right? Right. It's, it's like the Brady bunch. Yes. But imagine that you can't all talk at once. So what I've realized is that there has to be a zoom leader. Like okay. someone has to be like, hey, look, who's here? So, Joe, how's things going with your family? And then we all sit back and like, wait. Then you get done and it's like, hey, how about you, Randy? How's things with your family? Because you can't. It's not really like hanging out where right. you, I could have a side conversation where you're like, oh, dude, I really miss the NFL. Right. When, the it's my turn, when it's my turn, I bend over to get a drink. And when I come back, they've skipped me. <laughs> 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 They're like, and next we're gonna go to. Oh, Wait, he's not there. there. And then I'll be like, I'll oh, come up with my drink, and it'll be on to Jeff. Yeah, next you got to gotta, you gotta hear everybody else just go on and on about their day. I didn't even get to. When we got done, I didn't even get to tell them how I was doing with quarantine <laughs> or how much toilet paper I have. So I should be able to tell them that because truthfully, by the end of it, like we were hanging out the other night in this hangout thing. We, it got to be about maybe 45 minutes, and people were holding up their dogs. <laughs> oh, no. And I, oh. I was like, well, this is officially like, it's like when you play catch with a football and someone punts it. Like, it's over. Like, <laughs> as soon as someone punts it, it's just like, forget it. We're over oh, doing this now. Like, <laughs> like, people were picking up their dogs. Like, Look, here's my dog. I'm like, I don't you really. You should have taken your shirt off. I was for church today. I thought our Sunday school this morning was going to be a Zoom thing, but it wasn't. I was going to do the whole thing with my shirt off and be like, I've, I've never been able to do a church event without a shirt on. I've always wanted to, but much like John, I, I take my shirt off. I wish I knew John's last name so that I did see today, though, going back to, to him and everybody else on that um, uh, Exotic Joe show. Uh, you can hire him for 90 bucks to do a little like birthday message or something. Are you seriously? Yeah. yeah. Are, are you seriously? Are you serious? Yes. I might do it for Morgan for her birthday on Thursday. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. Um, 